Hey everyone, it's AR here today, and today I'm talking about Laser Beam and the brilliance of him. So let's get started. Now, Laser Beam took a stand against sweats or tryhards. Fully embraced the streamer by the way culture. I even changed my name, ttv.streamer by the way. We also had some rules. If we're gonna be streamer by the ways, there is no fun allowed. Twitch streamers are stone faced at all times. The Instead, took a stand for game enjoyers and just having fun. He united a group of gamers who just wanted to enjoy the game. He did so by using memes, even old dead memes, he revived again just for the sake of having fun in games. It's no wonder then that he sort of, him and C-Day went against Ninja, who at the time embodied the toxic streaming Twitch tryhard culture, which he and C-Day sort of defeated, but I'll talk about that later. By using memes and just uniting a group of people that just wanted to enjoy the game and make it fun, he got a lot of subscribers and grew and became iconic. Right, anchor, that looks so cool. It didn't kill him though, but look, we don't care about kills on the Lays Beam channel. Stupidity is the only victory royale. Anchor. Yeah. Also, Laser Beam exploited the game glitches and even hacked it somehow broken season two even more. In this video, Fresh and I streamed for five hours hunting for the most broken memes. We can break gravity. We turn boxes into nuclear weapons. But he didn't do it just to win like the Twitch streaming tryhard community. He did it just to have fun, just to enjoy the game. He even pushed the limits of items and experimented with them and pushed them to the boundaries, trying different possibilities. All right, they're coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to science. Yay, yay, just start throwing them. Just keep spamming them. Just keep spamming them. Oh my God. What the hell? I'm frozen. It, it, I'm frozen. I froze. <laughs> Oh, it's still going. It took about 20 seconds to free. So many Chisera drops, drops. We're gonna break the kill record, get over a thousand. We're gonna hit the longest snipe in history. We're gonna jump the entire bloody map. Now, Laser Beam was revolutionary, especially to the gaming community. Now that there is a bunch of copycat channels. Everyone sort of follows his formula of making gaming videos. He copied even his meme Olympics from Fortnite to GTA. There's now Mythbusters in every Fortnite video. This one, there's a ton of crazy stuff we go over. Let's jump into it. Okay, myth number one. I'm Everyone's just trying his editing style as well. Even Ninja's newest videos has his sort of style to it as well. Now, the beef between Laser Beam and C-Day and Ninja, it's a video for another day. But basically, Laser Beam and C-Day sort of won against the Twitch streaming tryhard culture at the time. Because now, since everyone's just making these videos exactly like c -Day and Laser Beam, now more people are enjoying games and having fun. But in a sort of sad way, also that meant that Laser Beam sort of went downhill after everyone started copying him. Which sadly, still to this day, he hasn't really returned to his roots of content creating. I really do wish that he would return because the gaming community has always been overused and is like the biggest throughout the internet. Yet Laser Beam still managed to make original content and bring original ideas to this community. Which is absolutely amazing and brilliant to think of. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, please subscribe or just share, if you don't like this video, dislike, but if you do, please like it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.
so um in some way somehow we have uh all of dr doom's powers all of iron man's powers and thor's powers oh yeah ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen i've got five of them 